Did my favorite budget Les Paul just get even better? The Harley Benton Single Cut 550 Mark II is here. Let's see how good it is. Hello and welcome to another video with me Elmo J. Karjalainen and it's good to have you along. Today we're taking a look at the Harley Benton Single Cut 550 Mark II. Yes, I have the Mark I here, uh, which I reviewed quite some time ago, which was so good that I ended up keeping it, which is a rare thing for the stuff that I review. But Harley Benton have just released Mark II of this guitar, and it still costs the same extremely low price of 279 euros, which would be roughly around 320 dollars, I guess, something like that. You can let me know what it goes for in the States. It has a mahogany body with a weight relief chamber, and it's weight relief chambered. Uh, it has an arched and flamed triple A maple top, uh, a cap that is, a set mahogany neck, bow ferro fingerboard, stainless steel frets, two Tesla Opus 1 Alnico 5 humbucker pickups, chrome hardware and so on. Now, what's different between this guitar and that guitar? Well, that if, according to Music Radar, a few things have changed. Now, this one has stainless steel frets, whereas that one just had whatever those are, <laughs> regular ones. According to some people, that's a huge upgrade. I don't know. I I've heard from a very reliable source that there wouldn't be a huge deal in it anyway if you change strings often enough, wipe down your strings after you've played, but I'm not going to get into all that. Uh, so you know, stainless steel frets. Uh, it has a graphite nut compared to whatever that is. That's going to have to be changed at some point. Uh, but the new one has a graphite nut, which is a, a real upgrade. It also has uh, new pickups, the Tesla uh, pickups, whereas the old one had the Roswell uh, humbuckers, which weren't great in my opinion. And also the fretboard has gone from Jatoba to Pau Ferro. Uh, I actually prefer the look of the Jatoba, but we'll see. One thing that uh, Music Radar didn't mention, which I noticed was that they've added this kind of bump here where the headstock tilts back which is to protect it from breaking if the guitar falls which is a nice touch so let's see what this sounds like now this isn't a comparison video i will be saying something about the old one but this is mostly just to try this one out so your basic les paul type thing two humbuckers four controls here. Let's see that everything works. I'm using a Marshall Plexi, which isn't entirely clean. Volume. Ah, tuner's on. Okay, so everything works, which is nice. Okay, so let's try out some sounds.
had some overdrive. <laughs> tune it.
that's why I went a bit over the top there. Because it's sometimes fun. Is it an upgrade on that? Well, I can't compare the pickups because I've those are different. They're not the originals. At least not with any certainty, but as memory serves, I think I think these sound quite nice. I didn't like the Roswell pickups in the old ones. So that's an upgrade in my opinion. Uh, the graphite nuts is an upgrade. Uh, that little thing on the back doesn't really matter if you don't drop your guitar, but it, nice extra protection. The guitar itself looks very well made, especially considering the price. And oddly enough, I still prefer the old one. <laughs> but that that's partly visual, but there's something about it that I kind of prefer, maybe just a bit, just a teensy weensy bit. You can get the new version in that same finish as this one. Sorry, as that one. They've done a cracking job with this. Harley Benton guitars over the 200 euro mark, all the ones that I've tried, uh, have been good to excellent. They've had maybe one or two small issues, but for that price, it's, it's no big deal. How do they keep the prices so low? Well, it's because they don't have middlemen selling the guitars onwards, so it's, it goes straight from the factory to Toman, and that keeps the prices really low. They don't have to market them or any of that stuff. That means that the prices are going to be kept low. And this, I mean, for 279 euros, you're getting a hell of a lot of Les Paul for your money. It would be interesting to compare to an actual Les Paul from now, present, a new one, uh, and see how big is the difference really between <laughs> what's a very budget Les Paul and the Gibsons that cost excessive amounts of money and have in recent years had quality control issues from what I've understood. But this is still absolutely great. So that's what I think. If you want to watch more of my guitar reviews, there's a playlist here. There's also a playlist with my music. Please check that out. Click like and subscribe if you haven't already hit that bell notification thing. Comment, let me know what you thought. And join me on Patreon because you get access to my Guitar Academy. You get access to all of my music, a bunch of exclusives, and you can even take that stuff for free. There's a link in the description for that. Um, other than that, I hope, to, uh, I, hope to, I hope you have a nice day. Take care. Bye!